New Mexico's criminal justice system is going to struggle with Mason Campbell. It's a very difficult situation. The suspect in yesterday's shooting at a Roswell Middle School isn't the first child we've seen accused of a heinous crime in New Mexico. Take Nehemiah Griego. He was 15 when authorities say he shot and killed five family members in the South Valley last year. Or Cody Posey. I'd like to say that I'm sorry. He was 14 when he killed his father, stepmom and stepsister on a southern New Mexico ranch in 2004. But there's something that sets Mason Campbell apart in the eyes of the law. He's just 12 years old. This is a child. In the public defender's office, Jeff Buckles has represented juveniles accused of violent crimes in the past. However, he says suspects under 14 create a unique set of problems. There can be no question that in the juvenile system, and especially when we're talking about someone under 14, the balance is struck, let's face it, in uh, favor in some ways of the child as opposed to strict justice. And prosecutors agree. Still, Rick Tedra with New Mexico's District Attorneys Association says there's a balance to strike between justice for the community and the victims and what's right for the child who is accused. Rehabilitation under our code takes the number one precedent and that sometimes does cause problems for, for prosecution of cases, especially in situations where you may have such a heinous crime committed. In New Mexico, children under 14 cannot be prosecuted as adults. When it's an adult being prosecuted, an adult being sentenced, you're looking at, you know, punishment for the act with the adult. For kids under 14, it's more about paving the way to a second chance. If Mason Campbell is found guilty of the third degree felony charges he's facing, the boy could be locked up in a juvenile detention center until he's 21. But there is a more likely scenario. At the age of 12, 11, even younger, you know, there, there's always a possibility that someone may never see incarceration or detention periods. At the end of the day, prosecutors and defense attorneys say they're just kids. They simply cannot be held responsible for even the most serious of crimes in the way people above 14 are. On special assignment, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13.